Hello and welcome back to The Healer, The Oracle. Today I'm going to look at blocks that you might be having between your twin and yourself. I do apologize in advance if you do hear that song in the background. I do have renovations still happening, but I want to get this video done for you guys today. Spirit, what do I need to know for the YouTube Collective today? Ooh, oop, 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 oop. What do I need to know for the YouTube Collective today? Okay. some fire actually <laughs> in my mind's eye I do see like this union energy so very very happy about that okay okay for some of you I'm speaking to a very specific collective today um I have a feeling this is happening today if not it'll happen over the weekend but I feel as though that it is within the Venus retrograde timeline which is lasting until september 22nd of this year <sighs> first two that popped out of the deck is completion and release okay so these two is letting me know that there is some some, some sort of cycle that is done some sort of long awaited um Things are happening underneath the surface, bubbling up to be healed at this time. There is this completed cycle happening. Release of the past, release of the mindset, release of the stagnant energy. You are your own worst enemy right now. You are turning away from your blessings and being able to turn around and actually see that they're appearing through the clouds. And instead, you're focused on the drought, on the rain. Um, on the fact, for some of you, it might be the fact that you guys are still in separation or you just went back to separation. But that is an illusion because in reality, sun is rising again, right? We have the being put to rest, but we do know that another cycle is born anew. Something is just, it's happy, not sad. It's being completed, okay? So that's the perspective right now. What you need to have is faith. Faith in the journey, faith in yourself, faith in the spirit guides that watch over you and have ground in them because they are going to carry you through this time, especially if it is a tough time for you right now. You might have to deal with people who are being given blessings, who are turning away from blessings. You might be dealing with people who are going through a really tough time when it comes to um, what's it called? their spiritual journey right now and they're looping back into things that are comfortable for them. Hold the space, make sure that you are there for them because it is going to impact you on the long run. So for those of you who have twins who, you know, they left again and you're like, you know what, I'm done, I'm just going to cut them off. Be careful with that one because if you're giving into your ego, it might just come back to bite you in the butt later. Mind you, if you're guided, you're guided. I'm not going to press that or say no to that one. I'm definitely an advocate for it. But um, if you're in a place where... You, you're not triggered as much as you were in the past continue growing with your twin because they will fasten your ascension journey as well as your pro progress in your other endeavors in life bottom of the deck i do have soulmate okay soulmate lets me know that there is some type of there's a person i'm looking at divine masculine here divine feminine i'm not sure if you can see but it looks like you guys are looking forward um that there is light up ahead that you are connected divine masculine it's like you guys are still kind of sleeping but your eye is open so you do see everything clearly but consciously i don't know yet but that's what's connecting you to your divine feminine is the fact that your eye is open and you're actually doing the work to get there how it will look for the feminine you're not even looking at this i don't think you're gonna understand it really um especially in retrograde it might just be time for you to do some introspective work but they are getting there okay but this is indicating no longer living a lie so they are awakening they are getting to that point of understanding that it's going to take time okay it might be this month but it's going to take time recovery and recovery is for you divine feminines um divine masculines as well because i feel as though something might end up tipping the scale a bit and tipping out of balance so it's that recovery to be able to get back to where you are and to actually progress forward instead of backwards it's about making a different choice 
And if a divine feminine, if you were hurt by your twin, if there's anything going on with your twin, if they, you know, step out of alignment and you feel it, get back to yourself and hold the space. Have that impartial, um, see both sides type of ordeal. See the perspective higher than both sides type of deal. And understand that everything is happening for you, not to you. And that it will all make sense. It will all come together. It'll Everything will unfold for its reasoning. And it'll all make sense. But you're being given a key to get back to your stability, your peace of mind. The way that you can function in life. Um, so that your abundance, which I did see. <laughs> balance was on the top. And abundance is right underneath. So that you can get back to that abundant state. But I do feel like for Divine Feminine specifically, you're going to get a flow of abundance in your life. Especially if you've been working in your purpose, you've been working in your business, you've been working in um, your interpersonal, interpersonal relationships as well as your relationship with self. You're going to receive a lot um, in the next like month, if not month and a half. Uh, as well as your divine masculines are going to receive a lot of blessings when it comes to upgrading if they are not aligned with spirit spirit is going to rip everything from them as long as you are continuing your path and doing the things that make you the most happy because that means there's no extra karmic energy in the mix i hope that was helpful for somebody it was a general reading so if you do want any deeper guidance and extreme knowledge about what's going on right now don't be afraid to hit me up for a reading or just hit me up to chat about what your options might be i do write articles about all of these kinds of things as well as spiritual updates and downloads so feel free to check those out that is all within the link as well there are some other fun things in there too and as always i hope you heal i will see you again on oh next week actually have a great weekend yeah, take care of yourselves. And um, Monday, I will be posting a full moon, super moon card reading on my Instagram. So check that out if that interests you. And if not, I will see you on Tuesday. Bye.